Mary Koss wrote a paper about sexual victimization of men in Chile. And I am going to actually show you the, the quotes in the research. Now, I will tell you what Paul is bitching about and then prove him completely wrong, okay? This is the quote he takes out of Mary Koss's research to somehow show that, what, she's a misandric, feminist, gynocentric uh, theorist who's going to destroy your lives? I mean, listen to this. The quote is, it would be it would also be desirable to conduct further quantitative in inquiry include in using the revised SES, which is a, um, a measurement scale of um, sexual violence, which contains items that have been crafted with behavior specific wording to elicit information on a range of sexual violence experiences. This will make it possible to base men's rape prevalence estimates with more specificity on acts that involve sustaining forced penetration, leaving less leeway for men's individual perceptions of what constitutes forced sex. Now, in Paul's little brain, pea brain, that in his mind, when he reads that, means that men's experiences aren't being taken as real rape. What they're trying to do, Mary Koss, the evil feminist that she is, is she's trying to, in a conservative culture of Chile, narrow down the behavioral specificity, specific situations in which men feel sexually victimized. She admitted that she used a female questionnaire on male victims. And a female questionnaire obviously isn't going to be as specific about behaviors in male rape that it is in when they ask females the same questions. So what she's saying is, I need to get a more specific measure to understand how men in this conservative culture are perceiving what rape is and what constitutes in their mind as rape or forced sex. crazy, I know, I know, I know, I know, it's crazy. Is she's trying to, in a conservative culture of Chile, Now he, he whines and moans about, you know, not having funding and people don't take male rape seriously. Yeah.